guys, welcome back uh, to my channel. My name is Sarah Ray Vargas, in case you didn't know. And um, I, I, I wasn't sure about filming this video because it felt like dumb. It just felt like this is stupid, you know? But um, I, I couldn't not do it. I had to talk myself out of doing it last night after I came home super late. Um, and then this morning I woke up at six o'clock in the morning and I was just like, there's always room, I think, for gratitude and there's room to talk about it. So first of all, I just wanted to say, I don't just want to say, like I want to say thank you guys for, um, for the support that you give me and not just on the collection with Fashion and Figure, which you guys have heavily supported um but just with everything because i don't think you understand like what my life was i forget that not everyone has been here since the beginning and so sometimes when i um post things or, um, you know, I, I tell stories or something, or I just tell you about what's going on in my life, whether it be like on this channel or Instagram, Twitter, um, my vlog channel, whatever it may be. Like, I forget sometimes that you haven't all been here with me forever. <laughs> and those of you that have been with me following my journey since, you know, 2013 or so when I started posting um, regularly on YouTube, you know, those of you that have been around since back then, I, th I, I, I think that you have seen the changes, you've witnessed the growth, but you know, a, a lot of you have not been here since then. And so the reason I think that I'm not just feeling really thankful, but just felt that it was necessary to post a video and share with you how I'm feeling is because I don't do it all the time and I don't think a lot of people do it. Um, you know, it's easy to just say a quick thank you. Hey, thanks so much guys for the support in the collection. You know, so glad you love it. It makes me feel great. Like you guys are the best. You know, it's easy to say that, but it's so deep and it's not the collection. It's not, it's not the collaboration that I did with a fashion and figure. It's just every single Step. Okay, so so yesterday, um, you guys know I so I did the collaboration with Fashion and Figure, and um, that was years in the making, right? Um, and I and I go into more depth on that in an upcoming vlog. But um, yesterday, uh, my boyfriend and I went out, and I was like, let's go. I was like, let's go to um, the mall. So there's two fashion figures out here and they're both about an hour away. And I was like, you know, do you mind driving out here? Let's go check it out. Like, let's go see it in store. You know, like, let's see the stuff in store. Um, I wanted to see the little hang tags because the ones in store have like SRV XFTF on them. And I wanted to see um, the display and just visit the store like in person. So we drove out there and it was just a little bit before the mall closed and we went in and as we were like coming on the corner, I could see myself um, like all the way across, you know, the mall or whatever. Like I could see my photo up in the wall or in the window display. And I was like, let me film this. And so you could just tell I kind of got excited and um, we went and I stood in front of it and I took a few pictures and um, a little bit of video. And then we went inside and I talked with, um, I talked with the girl there who she had helped with the makeovers and stuff that I had filmed there in the summertime. And I just kind of looked at the clothes and um, just kind of had a little moment. And then we left and it was funny because on the way out, I was like, you know, I didn't, I didn't really think I'd be like that excited about it. Okay, basically I said something along the lines of like, I didn't, you know, I didn't really think I'd be excited. And once I was there and like in front of it, I was like, you know, it was like a little giddy and, um, you know, as we're leaving and he was like, well, you know, you, you should be excited. You know, you should be excited. Like, this is a big deal. It's not something that everyone gets the chance to do. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I know not everyone gets to do it. And I know some people dream of you know, having something like this. And I, and I was like, you know, but this was never my dream. I, I've never dreamt of having a collection um, 
or being a designer. I've never dreamt of being a model. I, I, this was never anything that I wanted. It wasn't something that I asked for. It wasn't my intention. And so sometimes it just feels like really surreal and it feels like I'm living like other people's dreams. And um, I don't mean it in a bad way, you know, I didn't have a dream when I started YouTube. I had a lot of pain and I had a lot of lessons and things that I was going through and I needed, I think I just needed the reassurance of knowing that other, when I started making videos, it was right after I became a single mom and I had just gone through what was to that point the hardest thing that I had ever done, which to, in my brain, the way I looked at it was that I had broken up my family. Um, I've talked a lot about that relationship. I, we've done videos together. Um, you know, my kids were, they were little. I was still a new mom. You know, they were like one. Um, Nala might have been two, Nala was two, and I was so worried because I was on the verge of being a college dropout. I had nothing, it felt like. It felt like I had put all of my eggs into that basket. You know, I, I had put everything, I had put every bit of my life into that relationship. And we had created children in that relationship and it was tumultuous and it was terrible every step of the way. And um, I just think it was a step that was crucial in my life. And it was absolutely necessary for me to go through that in order to get where I am today. Get it together. I want you guys to understand that I'm not crying because I'm sad in any way. Um, I'm just, it's like, I, it's like I can see everything that I've gone through. And I just want people to understand that nothing Nothing can stop you. Nothing, nothing can stop you from achieving whatever it is that you want to achieve. Whatever success means to you, whatever your goals are, even if you don't have any goals, you can be great. You can do anything. You can do anything. Because I can't tell you how many times that I went through life thinking, that I wasn't good enough, that I didn't deserve things, and that the crap that I was handed is just what I needed to accept because that's what my life was gonna be. Because I knew people that just accepted what was given to them and they didn't turn it around and do anything with it. But then I knew people <laughs> that didn't do that that they didn't take what life handed them and decide that this is what's gonna define me. This is what's gonna limit me. This is what's gonna weigh me down for the rest of my life. They didn't do that. And I took inspiration from those people. And that's why I, I, when I started doing YouTube, the only thing that I wanted was to be able to support my kids and be able to raise them at the same time. It was really important for me to be able to spend time with my kids and be a mom first. I wasn't in a relationship. I was dealing with the aftermath of separating from their dad. I was dealing with what it meant <laughs> to be a single mom, to be a college student, going to night school, going and doing online classes and grinding it out and doing my absolute best so that I could finally reach at that time what was a goal for me, which was to graduate college because I didn't want people, you know, because when I got pregnant, people were disappointed. <laughs> people were disappointed in me and they were like, great, you know, here's another one that's not gonna, she's not gonna go to school. She's not gonna finish what she said she was gonna finish. She's not gonna achieve what she said she was gonna achieve. I mean, my, I had people in my own family telling me or t telling other people that I was so stupid and I just ruined my life. And you know, it, it, I use that as motivation. I use that as motivation sometimes, but you shouldn't have to use negativity as motivation. 
So when I started doing my channel, I needed to surround myself with positivity. I needed to surround myself with people that had similar mindsets, people that had been there, people that had done that, people that had gotten to the other side, whether it was talking about being a single mom or it was talking about my body and the issues that I've encountered and the things that I've gone through in my life because of the way that I look. Whatever it was, I needed to use this platform and I, at the time, it wasn't very big <laughs> for me. I mean, my first video that I did um, that eventually ended up getting a thousand or a million views like after a long time, um, that video I posted when I had less than a thousand subscribers and it was what the men love and hate about fat girls or something, I forgot what it's called. And I know a lot of people found me off of that. I cannot tell you how important it was to have the support that I had, especially in the beginning stages of this channel but every step of the way i have needed you guys like i've needed your support every single day every single tweet every single photo every single video everything i have always needed to have support because if i hadn't had support if I hadn't had support, I wouldn't have been able to overcome the things that I did. And it was so important to me to share my story. And yesterday, again, <laughs> when we were on our way to the mall, I, I really wanted to post a giveaway of the collection and FTF had bought it, um, or had basically gotten the collection in every size so that I could give it away to someone. And I said, you know, can we please make this like an international giveaway? And, um, you know, they actually presented the idea to me of using the hashtag what SRV taught me and uh, having people like if you really want to win the collection then you need to post a photo or a story to your own account and say something that you've learned from me or through my videos or through my photos or whatever it is and um, I posted that right before we went into the mall and then when we came back out I took my phone out on the way home and I was like blown away. I didn't expect <laughs> to be emotional, but there were, you know, a hundred comments or whatever of people telling me what they had learned. It just like blew my mind. <laughs> like, because it's, I, I don't feel special. I don't feel different. You know what I mean? My ultimate goal was just to feel like I was just as important as anyone else. I never wanted to get to a place where I felt like I was on a pedestal and I could look down on everyone below me and tell them, look where I'm at now. I just wanted to feel like I deserved a seat at the table, at any table. And it was crazy, like, reading all these comments from you guys saying, you know, oh, she taught me about uh, money, or she taught me about being a single mom, or she taught me to feel confident, you know, with my arms, or she taught me the best coffee combination, <laughs> whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like, but I, but I forget, like, <sighs> you know, I feel like I've grown up on this channel. <laughs> like, someone left me a comment the other day, and uh, she said something to the effect of like, you know, I stopped watching you for a couple of years because I found you to be very like annoying and um, entitled or just whatever. And she said, but you know, I, I've come back around and I'm glad to see the, the growth that you've clearly gone through. And um, I actually thought it was a nice comment because I was like, you know, I have grown, I have changed, everyone has. And sometimes I've, I've felt the pressure of wanting to be the person that some of you have expected me to be. So like when, you know, I kind of slowed down and basically stopped posting let's talk about sex videos, which were something that I used to do quite regularly, um, you know, and I stopped posting like Dear Fat Girl videos, which was again something that I used to do regularly, like it felt like I was really disappointing you guys. And, and I, every single day to this day, I get emails, I get messages, I get comments asking me to please post that, please post that, please post that, because that's either how you found me or that's what you need from me. And it makes me feel, if, if you guys are familiar, I'm sure many of you are with Forrest Gump, okay? If you've ever seen Forrest Gump, you know, all of a sudden, right, <laughs> Forrest, he needed that change and he decided that he would start running. 
and he started running and he started running and he was running and running and running and at first he was running alone and then all of a sudden people started to follow him and he was giving people hope and he was giving people reason and people were so inspired by him just running, just doing what he wanted to do. They were inspired, they needed that. It was giving them what, whatever they needed in that moment, right? And he ran for years and then all of a sudden he stopped. And he turned around, remember in the movie, and he turned around and he said, you know, he's tired and uh, he's gonna go home. And that was it. That was the end of him running. And those people are like, well, what am I gonna do now? There goes my inspiration. My inspiration just quit on me. And that's how I feel sometimes. Like, I wanted to do all of those videos. I wanted to talk about that stuff when I wanted to talk about that stuff. If you look at my videos, when I'm sitting down and I'm speaking and delivering some kind of message, I am passionate about it. I'm not being pushed through it. I am passionate about what I am speaking about because I can't fake it. I've never been able to fake videos like that. Otherwise, honey, I would have given them to you all the damn time, okay? But I can't, I can't pretend to be excited. I can't pretend to be passionate about those subjects. And so when I kind of lost that and I decided I'm kind of tired and I wanna go home. I wanna do something else. Like I know that I left that group of people saying, well, what the hell? <laughs> we need this. This is what we came for. This is what is driving us. You know what I mean? I mean, not to say I'm driving you in life, but like those videos were giving you something. You were receiving something from them. And then all of a sudden I stopped and like that's, that's how I felt. I felt like <laughs> it's time for me to move on, to talk about something else because I am done with that part of my life. I am done speaking to the internet about those stories. They are exhausted. I feel like I have said what I need to say and now I have new things to say because I'm growing as a person and I'm changing. And um, a lot of you have stuck with me through the transitions and through becoming who I am now. You know, I was a, I was a whole different person. I was much more immature, I would say, but I was also just 20 something and just living life and figuring things out and figuring out how to be an adult and making mistakes. And I'm still doing that, but my mistakes are different now and my mistakes are quieter now, <laughs> you know? Um, I'm just, I'm just different. And it can be hard to grow up and change in front of all of you guys because I don't want to disappoint you, but I also don't want to pretend and become this shell of a person um, because I, I still have passion, I'm still confident, I still have a story, but it might not be the one that you're used to hearing. So it's been a little scary. <laughs> just always not wanting to disappoint people. But for the most part, you guys have always been so supportive and so positive. And, and that has been such a huge driving force in my life. And you, there are a lot of things that I, I don't talk about, that I've never talked about. And I know sometimes when I do like uh, money videos now, I get some, I get some flack sometimes because um, people tell me like how un, you know, unrelatable it is. And I totally understand that. Um, and I guess part of it's just like, guys, I'm, I'm not unrelatable. Like, I started with nothing. I mean, I, I had nothing. And I just want to show you that you can get to the highest point. And if money is a definer for you, if that's a definition of success for you, then I just want to show you that you can do it because somehow I did it. And money is not a definition for me per se. I've just always wanted the security and the comfort that it brings. But that being said, um, I, I don't I don't chase money per se. Uh, but I just wanted to to show people that really are focused on it because it's you know such a big deal in your life, which is understandable because you can't you know eat or sleep or do anything if frankly you don't have a couple of dollars, you know what I mean? You can't survive in this world without any kind of money. So I wanted to show like, here's your motivation. Let me show you that you can do what I've done 
because I have once been where you are and sometimes I don't spell that out and so I can see why a lot of times I seem very unrelatable on that front and um, you know I, I just I guess I don't talk about my struggle anymore because I'm not struggling like that anymore. I have different struggles now. And um, and I don't always wanna focus on that. But I, I've, I've been through some things and if you've followed my videos and you know some of it, you know, whether it's like your parents, you know, if you're, maybe you're on the younger end, maybe it's your parents, you know, maybe there's abuse in your life, maybe there's alcoholism and addictions in your life. You know, my, my mom was addicted to gambling, right? And I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be like, okay, well, gambling is like not as bad as like drugs and alcohol. Um, but because of that addiction, um, which was thankfully relatively brief, it was a couple years, I think, um, but I was young and my dad had already left. My mom was a single mom of six kids and I was the youngest kid. And I remember waking up, I know I've mentioned part of this at least before. I remember waking up a couple days before my 10th birthday. So it was November and um, I came downstairs and my mom said, um, you need to pack some stuff because you guys are moving to Mexico. And I was like, what? <laughs> like my dad really wasn't around. And um, so for her to say like, you guys are leaving all of you are moving to Mexico and you're gonna go stay with your family there. Like, it was scary, the idea of not having my mom. You know, I had figured out what my mom was planning on doing to herself once we all left. <laughs> you know, and I thank God that that's not what happened. But I remember being so terrified at the prospect of having to just get up and instead of going and walking into fourth grade that day, having to get in the van and drive for two days to get to the border of Mexico so that my dad could collect us. And I was so scared because I knew my dad didn't care. He cared about some of us, but he didn't care about all of us. And I knew that he didn't care. And I was so scared, you guys, because I was terrified because the last time that I had gone to Mexico, my cousin had done some really inappropriate things to me. And I, I didn't say anything, you know, but it was like the thought of having to go and be without my parents and be without the one person that I knew loved me and, and having to stay there and then having to potentially be in his presence and living in his same house that he lived in, it was terrifying. And I remember being attached to my grandmother. My grandma loved me so much. And, and I loved her so much, you guys. She was so important to me. She was such an important person to me. And, and I remember being attached to her. If she went to the bathroom, I was standing outside the door and it got to the point where I was so afraid and no one knew why. I was so afraid to leave her room. I slept in her bed that she had put a bucket in that room so that I could use the bathroom in the bedroom and I didn't have to leave. And I had never, I never said anything to my family, you know, because I knew I wasn't special. I knew that it wasn't only me that had these things happen to her. I knew it wasn't only me that he did stuff to. I was so scared, you know? You know, and then, and then we came back. It's actually a, it's actually a funny story. We tricked, <laughs> we tricked my mom. Um, she went and she got help and she joined Gamblers Anonymous and she met some really amazing people and I would never blame her for doing what she did because if I was a single mom to six kids and I didn't have, she didn't even, she didn't have an education. I mean, she met my dad when she was like 13, 14 years old. My dad was not, not the best influence and I, and she didn't have anyone to rely on. She didn't have anybody. She didn't have parents. She didn't have anybody. And I would never blame my mom for anything. And she really taught me to be the person that I am today. The person that could get through anything. Because she got through anything. She got through much worse. And, and I just, I remember all of these things that have happened in my life from when I was little 
to when I was older, to when I was dating, to when I was, you know, in high school going through things, going through hating my body and feeling like the most worthless human being, like nothing mattered because I was fat. I remember going through all these relationships and dealing with constantly being cheated on, with constantly, with just constantly having to deal with crap, guys, because that's what life is so much, right? It's just so many problems, guys, but I'm telling you that you can get through anything and that you can get to the other side and you can achieve anything anything that you want to achieve. You can do anything that you want to do. You know when you see these like really inspiring stories online and, and it's someone who did something that is just so unbelievable that, that society would have never been able to imagine that this person could achieve. When you see those stories that this person did this miraculous thing and it was so amazing, you think, wow, like I could never. You don't need to feel like that. It can be you. It can always be you. You can do anything that you want to do and nothing in this world can stop you. Nothing can stop you and nothing defines you. And you know, I pray all the time for the people that go online to spread hate, that go online, that go into the, these, these forums, that go to try to attack people, to try to bring people down. I pray you guys so much as someone that once had a heart full of jealousy and envy and hatred, guys, I pray that one day you get to experience what it's like to be fulfilled, to be full of joy, to be full of love, to be so fulfilled that the idea of trying to bring someone down or the idea of trying to put negativity into the world is unfathomable because you don't have time for that. You don't have space for that. You get back what you give out. And if you give out negative crap all the time, that's exactly what's gonna come back to you. No one gets ahead by being a piece of crap, okay? No one does. And so I hope that one day everyone gets to experience what it's like to be full of joy and love. And not every moment of life is pure happiness, but there is something positive that can be found in even the most negative things. But guys, you've been there for me every single step of the way. Every crying video where I'm spilling my soul onto an SD card, every single time you've been there, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. I wouldn't be here without your support. And like I said, I, I never dreamed of this. I never dreamed of being a YouTuber or designing clothes or any of this stuff. And when you guys come up to me sometimes like in public and, and you know, you, you say like, oh, I, I love your videos or some of you get really personal and very specific and it's just really hard for me to wrap my head around the idea that anyone could be affected by anything that I say but then I remember that I am so affected <laughs> like my life has been so directly affected by the things that you guys say and do as well you know you you say nice things or constructive things or encouraging things you watch you support you you click thumbs up you share you tell people about it whatever it may be however it is that you have entered my life for whatever reason that that is like i just want to say thank you and, and and i wish that i could do more for you guys because i always feel like it's never enough but i'm just i'm so grateful and like i said it's it, it's not even it's not about money guys i've in the last five years i've stayed in the same house with the same car and i have the same stuff like i still just shop at target every day like I, my ultimate goal was not to get rich my goal was to one get a degree which is over there on the wall i don't know if you can see it but that took me a long time <laughs> and um I'm super happy <laughs> that I got it when I did, but my goal was to, to raise my kids and to be an active mother and um, to be able to have the opportunity to do that because I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't get to be with their kids all the time. They don't get to see them off to school and welcome them home 
and go to every little event and to just be there all the time. And that's the opportunity that I've been given that I will forever be grateful for because there's there's no amount of, of money that could replace that. There's, there's nothing like I've gotten to experience their lives. They have made my life so much better and I've gotten to meet the love of my life. And you know, I, I, I know who my audience is, you know? I know what you guys sound like, what you look like, what you feel like. You know, you are the, the heartbeat of this channel. Like, and not just this channel. Like, I don't want to trivialize it to like just this channel, but like you guys have changed my life. You know, and, and yeah, I'm the one who sits in front of the camera and who edits the videos and who uploads them and who takes care of this channel. <laughs> um, but it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be anything if it weren't for you supporting it. And even if this is the first video that you've seen of me, God, I hope it's not, <laughs> because this is a weird representation of who I am. You know, I always wanted to make you guys feel like you weren't alone, like you weren't the only person that went through something. You know, like you weren't the only person that had that one experience with a guy or you wasn't, you weren't the only person that like, you know, had that experience at school or who had these particular thoughts. Like I always wanted to let you know that like you're not alone and that's, that's exactly what you've done for me is to let me know that, that I'm not alone. You've <laughs> reinforced every idea that I thought maybe, Maybe I'm not the only person going through life thinking this and then when I put it on a video and I kind of put myself out there a little bit and then thousands of you guys are like, no, you're definitely not the only one and we're actually in this together. Like, you don't understand how invaluable this is. You know, and if, and if one day you're like, oh, I'm sick of this girl, like, I don't want anything to do with this girl anymore, you know, because we've grown apart, because because people grow, because things change, because ideas change and content changes, you know, then I just want you to know that I am grateful for any involvement that anyone has had, for any comment, good or bad, because it's all part of this journey. It's all been part of who I am today. And the people in my life that support me, like in my real life that support me, like, I can never tell them thank you because I'm not good at it, but <laughs> but I hope that at least my actions prove that, um, you know, that I'm, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. I don't know what the point of this video was besides to say thank you and that's why I was nervous about even filming it because, because I don't see a lot of videos of people just online saying thank you, but you have no idea. I just know that that, that girl, that little girl in Mexico, you know, she didn't know that this would happen. That girl crying every night because her boyfriend's out cheating and she doesn't know how the hell she's gonna feed her family or pay the rent. Like, she didn't know this was gonna happen. You know, that girl freaking sneaking snacks in the library because she was too embarrassed to like eat in front of anyone because she was such a fat ass who hated herself. Like, that girl didn't know what was in store for her and I'm just so, so grateful, you guys. And I know I'm gonna hate editing this video, <laughs> but I, I'll, and I'll never watch it again. <laughs> but I, I'm just, I'm, thank you. That's, that's all I have. Thank you and my foundation on a bunch of Kleenexes. <sighs> thank you.